how to install Ansible in Oracle Linux version 9. Today we are going to talk about the easier way to install and maintain up-to-date Ansible inside Oracle Linux 9 using the Upstream System Repository. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about how to install Ansible in Oracle Linux 9, the easier way to install and maintain up-to-date Ansible inside Oracle Linux 9 using the Ansible-core package included in the upstream distribution repository. Please notice that the package Ansible isn't available anymore. It's not necessary to use the additional ePAL package repository. Demo time! Are you ready to make your hands dirty? Let's jump in a quick live demo of how to install the latest version of Ansible in Oracle Linux. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect via SSH DevOps is my username at oraclelinux.example.com. This is a freshly installed machine that we are going to install Ansible on it. First of all, let me switch to root user, so sudo su and cat slash etc red hat dash release to verify that this is a red hat enterprise Linux compatible system, so 9.0 OTPA and specifically the name is Oracle Linux Server 9.0. We can double check with OS release, uh, hostname control or uh, uname dash A. So this is Enterprise Linux 9, specifically Oracle Linux Server 9.0. And now let's begin the fun. Let's the fun begin. So let's use DNF, the package manager, to search for Ansible. We have uh, only one option, as you can see, only Ansible-Core is available. So if we try to DNF list Ansible, we got no option for it. We need to specifically DNF list for Ansible Core. There is the source code and uh, the x8065 uh, bit. In the upstream repository, this package is available for installation version 2.12, as you can see, 8 megabyte. So this is the shrinked version with only the uh, core packages on it. Uh, DNF install to proceed with the install transaction. 61 packages will be installed, download size 25 megabyte and what was 90 megabyte on storage required. The installation is pretty smooth with only some Python and Perl dependencies. At the end, we got a complete status. Yes, so DNF was downloading, installing, and verifying. And now we are ready to test it out using Ansible command. Dash dash version will give us some information about the current version 2.12.2 running on Python 3.9.10. Wow, pretty up, up to date. Now, DNF list Ansible dash core will report. Uh, that installed package uh, Ansible-Core is successfully installed from upstream and uh, DNF uh, info Ansible-Core will have the same information. And here we go. Just uh, scroll it a little bit up and uh, we verify that Ansible-Core is successfully installed on Oracle Linux version.9. We only use the system repository, so we don't need to install anything on our machine and we can update with a simple DNF update, as usual. Wow, great result! Yay, we successfully installed Ansible Core in Oracle Linux 9.0. Great result! Now, 
you know how to install the latest version of Ansible in Oracle Linux using the Upstream System Repository. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, I hope you will take next lesson of Ansible Pilot and uh, let's have a lot of fun together. See you soon. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.